FWA Production presents Loop Engine, the next generation of cutting edge multi voice loop tools. This revolutionary plugin unlocks a new standard for MIDI generation by drawing on the legacy of chords plugins and pushing the boundaries even further. Originally designed for EDM productions, but totally effective in all sorts of other genres, this loop workstation will manufacture note progressions with flair and ease, based on chord shapes and rules. Running as a MIDI plugin for Mac and PC, Loop Engine is a multi-track chord and ARP MIDI effect that connects to any door. Route up to eight voices from a single instance of Loop Engine via the included Loop Engine Listener plugin. Includes creative randomization, intelligent harmonic progressions, and 30 chord types and tensions. Partition chords with global and per segment controls and export your MIDI to your door in just one click. Let's dive in. This is the main interface for Loop Engine with lots going on under the hood, but all easily accessible. The interface is based on vector graphics and totally resizable, just drag the corner. You might notice that Loop Engine looks similar to some of our other plugins, notably the Chords range of products. But don't be fooled, Loop Engine is far more capable than any of the previous plugins in the lineup. We've stacked Loop Engine with new concepts to create a whole new way of working including advanced multi-track routing and playing, chord range, piano roll view, additional chords, voicing rules, the ability to add tension notes and choose open, mixed or close chord positions. Here I'm going to demo Loop Engine in Logic Pro, but you can load it into pretty much any door. It's a MIDI effect, so follow your own door's instructions for how to route MIDI into your virtual instruments. Let's start with the basics, and those familiar with previous chords plugins will see some familiar concepts. Let's begin with chord progressions before we break it out into note patterns and complex loops via voices fed to multiple tracks. In the main window in loop view is where you can set the overall root key of the chord sequence, sequence speed, length, major and minor, and octave options. There's a chord preset menu for selecting pre-made chord progressions. And you can save your own here. To create a new chord sequence, click the center create button. The creation process begins from the last chord you've selected around the circle via these dots, and the algorithm bases its decisions on the chords that are already in place, up to and including the one selected. Add and remove chords around the circle with the plus and minus buttons between each chord. As many as 8 and as few as 2. Each chord segment consists of up to 4 notes that can be turned on and off by clicking. I'll remind you that I'm just showing the basics of the chords that the note patterns are based on before we get into editing notes themselves. Click the innermost ring of dots to access each individual chord. This is chord view. As you click each one, you'll see the chord shapes shown on the keyboard at the bottom of the plugin. Each chord has options to set the octave, inversion and velocity.
Brand new to Loop Engine is the range control, which sets up how spread apart the notes are. There are two modes for choosing chord types, simple and advanced. First, simple mode. These dots in the center represent different complexity and tonal functions of chord shapes. Don't worry too much about the chord theory that's working behind the scenes. Just know that in general, the dots towards the bottom are simpler chords. And as you rise up, you'll get chords of more complexity that sound jazzier. You can actually see the chord symbol of the playing chord just here. The three different lines of dots are S for subdominant, T for tonic, and D for dominant. Experiment for yourself and see what sounds good. In advanced mode, you also get options for chord type and tension notes, adding even more interesting shapes to your palette. So far so good, but now let's get into the really interesting part of Loop Engine where you can split the chords up into note patterns that can be played in many different ways. Let's click into Voice One's editing to access Voice View. More about voices in a sec. Swapping this toggle from chords to notes changes the view. As you can see, the chords have now been split into note partitions where you can click to choose any of the four chord notes for each partition. Use the little controls over each chord to copy and paste segment settings from one chord to another. The two little lines to copy and the little arrow to paste. Alternatively, you can turn on repeat mode and any changes you make to one chord segments will be automatically copied to all. Set the number of partitions per chord with this control. And the overall octave just here. Poly mode is another new feature of Loop Engine. In this mode, instead of constructing sequences for each chord, you can create a pattern that will be repeated indefinitely. Such patterns can extend beyond the boundaries of chord segments and loop iterations. Just drag the handle to set the loop length of repetitions. There are a number of note presets selectable just here. And just like the chord presets, you can save your own. Now here's the really clever part. So far we've only been editing voice one, but all of the controls I've just shown in the voice view can be adjusted for up to eight independent voices. So I can click into voice two, choose a different note preset, or adjust octave playback, number of partitions, poly mode, or the segments themselves. I can even switch voice two into chord mode. That's the same with voice three, voice four, and so on. So why would you want to have so many voices running simultaneously? That's where another plugin comes in, Loop Engine Listener. Here's a new project set up so that Loop Engine spits out MIDI to several other virtual instruments. Each voice output from Loop Engine on track one is routing into the Loop Engine Listener plugins on the other tracks. We've even named the voices to keep organized, just here. In the listener plugin, just choose the voice that the track will receive and make sure the port numbers are the same so Loop Engine and Loop Engine Listener can communicate. The default port is 20850, but this can be changed. 
just make sure it matches across both plugins. So now we have the main loop engine on track one, outputting several voices. And on the other tracks, the listener plugin is receiving MIDI note information for each of those voices. So in this project, I've got six different voices set up, exporting from Loop Engine and feeding into six different tracks, each with a different virtual instrument. You can activate and deactivate each voice by clicking its number, or the surrounding ring to solo a single voice. Once set up, you can make adjustments to the chord and note programming in the Loop Engine plugin, playing with different progressions and sequences, and the changes will automatically cascade to the other tracks via the voices and loop engine listener. Swap voices easily by choosing different ones via the listener plugins, or even assign one voice to multiple tracks. As you can see, the possibilities are super flexible. If you want to export the MIDI from Loop Engine, simply drag from the loop view or voice view. This MIDI can be edited in your door in the normal way. Loop Engine is a super flexible creation station for loops, chords, arps, melodies and more, spread across multiple voices and outputs. Say goodbye to the limitations of static chord shapes as you take intelligent sequence creation to the next level. Have fun and for more information check out waproduction.com